What's going on, everybody? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. And I need everybody to hit that like button, hit that share button, and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. All right. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Let's get into it. All right. This video is going to be about affirmations. Affirmations to take back your strength and overcome what the narcissist has planned. All right. A lot of narcissists, they have things planned in your life try to try to overthrow what you have planned for your life. So what we're going to do is we're going to speak into existence that uh, some powerful affirmations that are going to uh, help us take our power back and help us remain uh, more powerful than uh, the narcissist and narcissistic situations and just um, whatever like evil plans or plots they have planned in general. So let's get into it. All right. I am more powerful than what the narcissist has planned for me. Narcissists have no power over my life. Whatever power the narcissist thought they had over my life, I take back now. I do not allow people to play games with my life anymore. Nobody will treat me in a way that I don't want to be treated. I don't have to allow anybody to treat me any way I don't want to be treated just because of a specific title. If anybody is disrespecting me in even the slightest way, I don't have to accept it. I don't have to be around anybody that I don't want to be around. When I don't want to be around somebody, that is a boundary that I'm setting for my own personal value. My own personal values come first when it comes when it comes to dealing with me and my life. It doesn't matter who doesn't like it. It doesn't matter how anybody feels about it. I have to do what's best for me. If people don't like what I'm doing with my life, then that's too bad. If people don't like what I choose to do with my life, that's too bad. When I choose to do something with my life, I always see it through. When I choose to do something with my life, I always see it through. No matter what anybody says about me, I always carry through with my plan. No matter what anybody says about me, I always carry through with my plan. Things may not seem like they're going to work out, but they always work out for my greatest good. Even if it doesn't seem like something is going to work out, it always works out for my greatest good. They meant it to me for bad, but God meant it to me for good. No matter what they tried to do against me for bad, God meant it to me for good. No negative energy formed against me is going to defeat me or the plan that I have for my life. No negative energy will defeat me or the plan that I have for my life. I'm going to be successful no matter what. I'm going to be successful no matter what. People may not want me to do good in life. They may not want to see me do good in life, but I'm not going to let that stop me. People may not want to see me do good in life. People may not want me to do good in life, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm going to overcome all forms of abuse. Anybody smiling in my face that doesn't have my best interest at heart is now being removed from my life. Anybody who smiles in my face 
but does not have my best interest at heart is now being removed from my life. When people treat me in a way that is not for my greatest good, I don't have to accept it. When people treat me in a way that's not in my greatest for my greatest good, I do not have to accept it. I'm allowed to separate myself from anybody that I wish to be separate from. And I don't have to feel bad about it. I'm allowed to separate myself from whoever I want to be separated from, and I don't have to feel bad about it. Narcissism has no power over my life. Narcissism has no power over my life. I take all my power back from the narcissist right now. I take all my power back from every narcissist right now. Whether it be the narcissist at work, whether it be the narcissist at home, whether it be the narcissist in the neighborhood, I take all my power back from every narcissist now. I take my power back from every interaction with the narcissist right now. All negative interactions, all plans, all schemes, all plots from the narcissist are canceled right now. Whatever evil plot and plan the narcissist has planned for your life is canceled right now. Every plan that they put in place to try to see you fail. Every plan they put in place to try to bring failure into your life is now being canceled. All plans against your life are now destroyed. All plans against your life are now destroyed. The narcissist no longer has any power over your life. You will outsmart the narcissist. Any plan the narcissist has for your life, God is now putting back on them. Any plan the narcissist has for your life, God is now putting back on them. Every foul word, every smear campaign, every lie spoken against you, they will have to pay for it. Everything that the narcissist said about you is not true. Everything the narcissist tried to do to try to upset you and get on your nerves and try to frustrate you is now going to be put back on them. All negative energy from the narcissist is now being sent back to them. All anger, all frustration, all worry, all doubt is now being sent back to the narcissist. I have a clear mind when it comes to what I want to do with my life. I have no more confusion and doubt when it comes to my life from the narcissist. No matter how much the narcissist tried to make me doubt myself and not think I'm capable of being successful in life, I now remove all that negative energy out of my life for good. I see myself being successful and I see myself being happy and enjoying my life no matter how much pain and misery narcissists want to see me have in my life. I'm destroying all negativity coming from the narcissist right now. I'm destroying all the negativity coming from the narcissist right now. I am taking my strength back right now. I am taking all my strength back right now. Every curse Every evil plan, every evil plot is now reversed and being sent back to every person that wishes harm against me. Every plan, every evil plot, every person is now, all the negative energy is now being reversed on anybody who wishes harm against me. I do not fear the narcissist. I remove all fear from dealing 
with the narcissist. I take all my power back from the narcissist. The narcissist has no power over my life anymore. If you say this prayer once when you wake up in the morning and once when you, before you go to sleep at night, whatever um, negativity, whatever, um, whatever they don't want you to succeed at, whatever uh, stress they're trying to put on you, because uh, a lot of narcissistic people, they just, uh, they don't quit. They, um, they want to see you fail. They don't want to see you uh, become successful in life. So they'll, they'll um, put a lot of pressure on their target. They'll put a lot of pressure on their victim. So it's, it's, it's very important to, to affirm that you're not going to be defeated by them. It's very good to uh, have a, a positive mindset when it comes to dealing with these individuals because they want you to think that it's over for you when you get into a, a negative situation or if they put you in a negative situation they try to force you into thinking that your life is over so what you have to do is you have to stay positive because the the picture they try to paint for you is a very depressive one so you have to it's all mental you have to defeat the um the picture that they're trying to paint for you mentally they're trying to take you a, a person with a positive mindset and they're trying to defeat that positive mindset and make you think that um, you can't win and, and that your life is all negative and that uh, you can't have a, a, a good life. They want you to think that you don't deserve a good life. They want you to think that you can't get what everybody else has. All right. They, they don't want you to think that you can um, get your own home. They don't want you to think that you can provide for yourself. They want you to doubt yourself so that way they can remain in control of you and have power over you, unfortunately. I don't uh, want to sound like I'm complaining or anything, but that's just the way it is. That's what these individuals do and just bringing uh, awareness to it and uh, also just uh, speaking on it at the same time, just uh, getting some things off my chest that I, I feel uh are important that I need to be talking about. So uh, dealing with these individuals, it's not easy. Uh, they'll they'll try to make you devalue yourself. They'll try to um they'll try they'll try to lower your self worth so you don't feel good about yourself. But it's it's all because they they really hate themselves and they are they I mean they're they're disgusted with who they are as a person. They don't like what they see when they look in the mirror. So they they really don't like themselves on the inside out. So what they want to do is they really want to take that out on you. And depending on if it's more than one person, that could become detrimental to the the individual. Uh, depending on the uh, the attachment or the uh, association that the individual has with the other individuals that are uh, that have the the narcissistic disorders. So it's it's very rough on a person when a, a person has to deal with these people on, on a day to day basis, or this this individual is uh, related to these types of people. It makes it it makes it difficult when uh, you have to deal with them or. Uh, they're in your life for a period. So you, you know, you're going to want to have a positive mindset because the, when you're around them, their whole goal and their whole aim is to defeat you and break you down. And you can't let that happen. All right. You, they're not stronger than you. They're not more powerful than you. All they can do is try to get in your head and, and try to play mind games on you. And you're going to overcome this. You're going to defeat this. Uh, what you're going through, you're going to get through. Uh, Les Brown said that. Uh, he also said, no matter how bad it gets, no matter how bad it looks, uh, you, you're going to make it. And no matter what uh, they try to do to you, you're going to overcome it and you're going to get through it. Don't let um, don't let them defeat your mind. All right. Whatever uh, negative energy they try to cause, send it back to them and also affirm that you're going to get through your situation. Because a lot of times these people, they, they will try to create a reality for you to where it looks like the, it, it, your life is over. They don't want you to believe in yourself and they don't want you to think that you can be successful with your goal, with your dream. They don't want you to think that you can um, achieve anything in life except the bare minimum. All right. They, they just, they, they don't want you to go after what you want in life. 
they don't want you to do that. They will try to do anything in their power to try to stop you from achieving your goals, anything that you want to do in life, anything that you want to be. If they know it, if they're aware that, oh, he's trying to do that. Oh, she's trying to do that. They're, if they're narcissistic in nature and they hate you and they secretly want to try to destroy you and your life and they don't want you to succeed. I, I, I hope I'm not, don't sound like I'm complaining. Y'all. I'm just trying to, I'm just uh, explaining how these people are and they'll try to sabotage your life because they don't want you to become successful at what you want to become successful at. It's, it's evil, it's, it's hateful, it's spiteful, it's petty, but these people are immature in nature and like they're, they're two-faced, all right? So that like just because they do something good for you, it doesn't mean that they don't hate you. It doesn't mean that they're not trying to, they don't want you to do good in life, all right? People can can hate you and not want to see you succeed and and be there for you in certain aspects of your life it sounds crazy but it's just the way it is and it'll make it it, it, it'll make your head hurt but it's nothing to try to figure out it's just that's that's the type of person that these people are so it's best it's, it's best to get yourself in a position to where you don't have to deal with these types of people as soon as possible because if not um it, it, it could be it could be detrimental to your health so just anybody dealing and anybody in the type of situation who has to deal with this, these types of people stay strong uh keep your head up you, you're gonna get through this and uh continue to love yourself and be positive because these people are trying to break you down don't gaslight yourself it's, it is it is that bad all right, make sure you you say positive things to yourself. I know you don't want to tell yourself it's that bad because you don't want to look at people in a bad light because they may have helped you or they may be helping you. So you don't want to look at these people in a negative light. But if, if somebody is, is being destructive to your mental health and they're gaslighting you, then that's not a positive experience for you. That's not good for you. So as, as much as you might want to hold certain people in a good light, as much as you, you might want to respect and honor certain people, if, if they're uh, waging warfare psychologically on your mind and, and they're making you um, feel like you, you need to pull your hair out or they're making you feel like uh, you're doing something wrong or they're making you feel like you're imprisoned in your own body, then these are not good people for you. And you need to pray. You need to um, put on some scriptures and you need to uh, meditate and release this rage because one thing that narcissistic people do when they hate a, a individual or a person is they'll they'll say the the slightest thing it'll 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 be the slightest thing it won't sound mean it won't be any curses involved but it will it'll it will, they'll say something to try to irritate your spirit and try to pierce your soul because they know you and they know how to get to you and they know how to say things to make you react in a certain way to where you if you if you react and get angry and flip out you'll look crazy but what what it is is that you're filled with so much rage narcissists will fill you with rage the things they say after you deal with them after you deal with the narcissist after they say something to you you're gonna have to release that rage you're gonna have to get rid of that anger and you're gonna have to um you're gonna have to uh, meditate after each session or after each dealing with them or after each shift or a after each break like you're gonna have to pray or take a deep breath and, and and you're gonna have to let it go everything they do you're gonna have to let go you can't hold on to anything any negativity nothing you can't hold on to nothing attached to them at all because it, it will it, it's, it's acidic because they're toxic anything attached to them anything they say it's just it's like acid so you, you can't hold on to it. You have to let it go. You can't think about it because these people want to destroy you. They, they, they don't love you. They don't like you. They, they'll lie to you and they'll, they'll tell you that you do. But it's all it's all an effort to try to break you down and play with your mind because they, they don't want you to, to, to feel normal. They don't want you to have a, a sound mind. They want you to feel like you're you're losing your grips on your life and e evil people do that so that they, they'll 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 do they'll people will want to keep you around so they can break you down and 
it, it's, a, it's a rough situation. So just keep going, fight through the depression and, and you'll get through this and, and you'll, you will get away from them and you will distance yourself from them and you won't have to see them anymore ever again if you don't want to. And don't feel bad about it because I know you're, I, I know, I know you want to treat these people as good as you could possibly treat them, but they don't deserve it. You, I hate to break it to you, but they don't deserve it. They don't deserve you to treat them good. And because you don't treat them bad. So what you have to do is you just have to treat them with your absence. And you may, you, you may need these people right now. They may be helping you right now. All right. You, but still, just because somebody is helping you, it doesn't mean that the, the, the evil that they're doing to you does not exist. Just because somebody is helping you, it doesn't mean that they're not being evil to you. People can help you and be evil to you at the same time. So you, you, you have to find a way to do something for yourself that's going to help you and benefit you so you can distance yourself from these people. All right. I know I keep saying that and I keep talking about that, but... Uh, there, there are some people that are in a situation right now where they need help. And unfortunately, the people that are helping them hate them. So it is what it is. Some people right now are getting help from people that hate them because they don't want to see that person grow. And it's like it's, it's like you're chopping that person down and destroying them every inch and every mark that they try to make. But then you complain because you have to help them. And it's like you when 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 people complain about helping you, you have made that is a tall tale sign that you should ne you should have never been around that person in the first place. When people when people complain about helping you, you should have never been around those people in the first place. All right, we did this for you, we did that for you, everything, everything, everything. You should have never been around those people in the first place. That that was a mistake. All right, those people see you as a mistake. All right, that's not love. That that is that people see you like that is a mistake. All right. You need to get away from people like that. Even if they're helping you, you need to get a, 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 just just allow them to help you until you can get away from them because they're trying to destroy you and they don't love you and they hate you and you shouldn't feel bad about it. All right. It might even it might even free you up to say it. And, and, and you, you feel bad about saying things like this, but it, it's the truth and it's honest and you have to be real. When, like when people when you get around people and they make you sing the uh the uh, don't worry, be happy song. That's toxic energy. All right. When, when you get around people and they, and you feel better once you're away from them, those people hate you. All right. That they're toxic. It's something wrong with those people that they feel negatively when you come around them. So whether they hate you or whether they just don't like you or whether you make them feel bad, whatever it is, maybe maybe you've offended them or done something horrible to them. So but because they don't want to let that go and they can't grow and they can't accept the fact that whatever's in the past is in the past and it wasn't your fault and you didn't do it on purpose, then you need you need to leave people alone. Because if people are holding things against you your, your whole life. And if people are holding things against you and it is destroying you, it's causing you to not be able to sleep at night, it's, it's causing you to be super stressed out, that's not love. And people are playing, people are playing you. And it is what it is. It's sometimes it's hard to tell because you don't expect people who are treating you, you don't expect certain people to treat you bad. And you, until when, once you start to recognize that, wait a minute, I always thought it was something weird about the way you treated me, but now I'm starting to see you're toxic. You're a negative person. You're somebody that I shouldn't have in my life. Once you see that, don't feel bad about it. All right. It may hurt. It's uncomfortable and it does hurt, but just, just cut the people off because they're not worth it and they don't deserve it. So when people are like that, when, when your family is, is toxic and they low key hate you and they, they are playing dumb, like, yo, like it, it, it's hard because you'll say something to their face. People think you don't say nothing to their face. You're like, hey, uh, when you disrespect me like this, I don't like that. What are you talking about? Uh, I never did that. I never said that. I didn't mean that. You're too sensitive. You're soft. You're this. You're that. And it's like they, you're like, okay, I'll let it go. I'm sensitive. I'm soft. Okay, cool. I'll let it go. I gotta toughen up. I'll accept that. And then you keep going around them, and they keep saying negative, ignorant stuff, and it, it makes you want to put your hands on them. So it's like, you know what, after all this pressure and all this stress, because eventually, if you keep going around these people, 
you're gonna you're gonna end up getting into you something negative could possibly end up happening into your life so when people are making you stressed out and when people are making you frustrated and they're never going to change you, you're basically traumatizing yourself and basically uh stress inducing yourself and putting yourself in a toxic environment over and over and over and over again as much as you have to deal with these people so i understand they may have put they may have made you depressed I understand they may have break, broken you down I understand they may have done some negative things to you I understand it may have been no healing I understand it may have been uh, toxic your whole life but you got to get over this you got to get through this and you will all right so find keep working keep making keep finding whatever works for you all right if you have um something that you're working on that you want to work on don't give up on that but also make sure that you're doing things to put yourself in a better position to where you don't need help from people and to where you don't have to uh, need people because they, they will say that you're using them. People will, people will uh, destroy you, help you, and then tell people you're using them once they treat you bad and you don't want to accept their negative treatment. It's like it, it, it people, yeah, you know, they really they want to hit they want to hit you over the head with a club and just have you accept getting hit over the head with a club. Why don't you want to be around me? Boop, they hit you over the head. How come you don't want to be my friend? Boop, they hit you over the head. You don't love me? I always take care of you. I just bought you a whole bunch of stuff. Boop, 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 boop. They just cracked your skull open. We're we're a family. We love. We're supposed to love each other. Boom. They just cracked your brain just fell out your head. They just hit you so hard. But I love you. I took care of you your whole life. Boom. They just punched you in your face and knocked your teeth out. Some some people, unfortunately, these things actually happen to. I'm talking about it metaphorically, but because this people can do that with their words as well. But there are some people who actually that their that people are a little bit more stupid, so they can't do it with their words. They do it with their anger and their fists. All right, but the people who are a little bit more smart but don't think they're stupid because they do the same thing, they just do it mentally because they may have a little uh, education behind it. So they think that's the way they could do things. So, okay, I'm just going to uh, intelligently uh, insult you and treat you bad because I'm smart, so I'm going to do it in a sophisticated way. I'm going to I'm gonna use the bathroom on you. Instead of taking an issue on you, they'll use the bathroom on you but it's it's all negative so you, you you feel bad talking about these kinds of things but who who's going to speak up for you if no nobody in your family cares no you can't talk to no neighbors no nobody cares everybody want uh, it seems like the the way the way people are doing you it seems like everybody's out to get you so it's like who who are you supposed to talk to about these things no, no family members want to answer phone calls. Nobody wants to respond to you. People don't want to uh, answer. And it's like you, you can't talk to them anyway because they're toxic themselves. So it's like you try to go talk to these people. They bringing up stuff from your past, bringing up all these negative things. So it's like all you have, all you got is yourself. And that's cool. So you just got, you have to breathe. You got to breathe through a lot of this stuff. Like you, you'll feel anger, you'll feel rage, but you got to breathe through it. Don't let these people affect you and don't let them cause you to do anything negative because they caused you to feel bad. That's what they want you to do. They want you to be filled with so much rage that they impact you in a negative way and they cause uh, negative things to happen in your life. It's all because they're filling you with toxic energy. When a person's filled with toxic energy, it's like somebody being abused and being abused and being abused. And then people expecting that person to go out into society like a, a normal person and act like a, a normal person out in the world. And, ex and experience and, and, and interact with people like a normal person. Knowing that person is getting abused mentally and people are, and, and everybody else is seeing the person who's abusing this person. Hi, hello, how you doing? But then they're looking at, but they're not knowing the whole time that behind closed doors, this person is destroying your self-esteem and your self-image and your view of who you are. But it, 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 it's cool, you know, um, it's all right. You, you'll, you'll, you will overcome this. You, you, you're more powerful than what they have planned for you. You're more powerful than their, their hate, their evil, their negativity. Uh, you're more powerful than all the negative things they've ever said. So take take back your energy, 
all the negativity that they've ever done, all the negative things they've ever said, your energy is now coming back to you. Uh, you're taking back your strength. You're more powerful. They have no power over you. They never did. These people never had any power over us. All they had was some negative to say. That's what we have to understand. And with, with, with these affirmations and um, with these affirmations at the beginning of this video, uh, you'll be able to change your life. So write, write these affirmations down and make sure you read them to yourself every morning and every evening. All right, I want to thank you for watching this video. This has been another Drew 2 special. Shout out to uh, all the chosen vessels. I see all you wonderful, amazing people in the next video. Everybody hit that like button, share button, the subscribe button. Shout out to everybody hitting the notification. Shout out to the squad. I see all you amazing people in the next video. Peace out.